If you are a final year BTEC student and preparing for GATE 2026, here is one important advice for you. Don't skip your campus placement. Many students think that I'll skip the on-campus placement preparing fully for GATE and will go for higher studies. But frankly speaking, that's not a good strategy. Having a job offer as a backup is not a distraction, rather it's a security net. Let's face the harsh reality of GATE exam. GATE is a very uncertain exam. Every year around 1 lakh students from every branch appear for the GATE exam but only few hundreds of students finally make it to top IITs, IISC or top NITs. So statistically, the success rate is very, very low. And even if your preparation is solid, a lot depends on the final gate exam day. How is your health on the final day? How are you managing the pressure on the exam hall? What is the exam hall environment? Which particular system or computer you're giving the exam? These things matter a lot. Many students fail in the gate exam not because they didn't study well, but because things went wrong on the final day, which was beyond their control. That's why having a placement offer in hand gives you a mental peace. You'll be relaxed, confident, and less anxious during your gate preparation and on the final day. Because even if you don't get your dream rank on gate 2026, you still have a path ahead. If gate 2026 doesn't go well, uh, you can join the job. You can prepare parallelly with the job and you can try again next year in gate 2027. That's a far better position than being completely empty handed. So a smart strategy would be that you should prepare parallelly for both gate and your on-campus placement. Now how to manage both together? Uh, so during your on-campus placement session, take a one month break from your gate preparation and try to grab at least one job offer from the on-campus placement. What are opportunities coming away? Uh, just take it, grab it and lock it. And once the placement is done, go back and start preparing again seriously for GATE 2026. And if you have someone from CAC or DA, then it's even bigger easier because your GATE preparation kind of overlaps with your on-campus placement preparation. So remember, don't take this risk that you are preparing only for GATE exam and skipping your on-campus placement. This will not be a good strategy. Try hard for the GATE exam, but uh, don't skip the on-campus placement. Try to have a job as a backup. Remember, success favors those who plan smartly. So that's why uh, this is a smart strategy that you prepare both for your get preparation and your on-campus placement. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and share it with your other friends who are also preparing for GATE exam and subscribe the channel.